To be fair, I was warned. Everyone said to me, as soon as you send your kid to daycare, you are gonna get sick too. Now, I generally have a pretty strong immune system. I eat well, I take my vitamins, I take probiotics, so I was feeling pretty empowered. I didn't quite believe all the hubbub that people were saying, but the first week Riley went to daycare, she was fine. The second week is when the nose started to run. And when her nose started to run, my nose started to run and it all went downhill from there. Since she's been in daycare, we have all as a family just had this ongoing cold, cough, flu cycle. And just this past weekend, I had a cold and then layered on top of that, I had a 24 hour bug. It is nonstop over here. So in this video, I want to address the inevitable cough, cold and flu season that is abound, whether you're a new parent or anyone else on the planet, this could happen to you. And I just want to help you prepare for the pre, the during and the post. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and give this video a thumbs up if you are done with cold and flu season. Of course, there will be those germs you can't avoid, those airborne pathogens. Those are gonna get into your system regardless of what you do. But there are those germs that exist on surfaces that you really can avoid and you can prepare for in advance. And those surfaces that you wanna be particularly mindful of are what we call here points of contact. Those are things that you are frequently touching and that other people are frequently touching. Now, of course, it's important to be mindful of points of contact outside the home, but the things that you really can clean and control are the points of contact inside your home. Now, to clean these, you wanna use a disinfecting product. We have a DIY recipe and a whole video about points of contacts that I will link for you down below. But essentially, think about any area that you might touch frequently and that someone else might touch frequently and that is where the germ transfer can often happen. Something like a handle, you know, a microwave handle or a drawer pull, a button, a touchpad, anything along those lines in your house, things that are frequently touched or used are going to be carriers for germs. So if you can disinfect them and keep those clean during cough, cold and flu season, you are gonna have a much better chance of staying healthy at home. Children really are walking Petri dishes. When Riley leaves the house every morning, she is so fresh, so clean, so adorable, and by the end of the day, she comes home, her hair's a mess, she's got snot on her face, food and paint all over her clothes, She's a mess and of course she's absolutely adorable but I know when she comes in there's a lot of cleanup that needs to happen and I know that a lot of the germs that I picked up were specifically from when she got from the door of daycare to the door of our house. So now we kind of have a management system where when she comes home we bring her to the sink and we give her face and her hands a good wash with some soap that way we clear away all of those daycare germs. Then we change out her clothes, pre-treat the stains and throw them in the laundry and get her in something fresh. We've all received this simple advice for years, probably since we were old enough to even understand language. We've been told, wash your hands, not just before you eat, but after you finish in the bathroom or any other activities that you've taken on, you should probably wash your hands after you do that. The reason being our hands are really a primary transporter for all sorts of germs. And if you can keep your hands clean and your hands are constantly touching your face with mucous membranes, which is where a lot of germs are absorbed, you can actually keep yourself a lot healthier. Now washing your hands, we all know about that. Proper hand washing really is the way to keep yourself healthy. And a lot of public places have signs posted, that's your sign, posted about how to properly wash your hands, but I'll run through it really quickly. Any type of soap is important. I get my hands a little bit wet, then I put the soap in my hands and I give them a good scrub. I do two rounds of happy birthday in my head. If you don't like the sound of your own singing voice, in your head, you can also count to 30. 30 is your magic number, you want 30 seconds on the clock. You're gonna rub your hands together, you're gonna to get in between your fingers, the backs of your hands, under your fingernails if you can. Then you're gonna give them a good thorough rinse until you feel some friction, you feel some squeakiness, some nice clean emotions going on on your hands. You're gonna turn the water off if you can, I like to do it with my elbow, and then you're gonna reach for your drying product of choice. Me, I'm a paper towel girl, but I know some people really love those air dryers. That's the up and down air dryer. That's the under air dryer. And 
actually, I'd love to know in the comments, are you guys a paper towel kind of person or are you an air dryer kind of person? When you're hit with something and this just happened to me over the weekend, like a cough, a cold, or a flu, the last thing on your mind is going to be getting yourself dressed and functional and going out and picking up that thing that you need to make yourself feel better. What I recommend is to keep your cupboard stocked with age-appropriate products that will help make each person in your home feel better. Chad and I have recently started using this new Robitussin with Honey formulation. It works just like regular Robitussin, but we love it because it includes True Source certified honey and is gluten-free and doesn't contain any artificial colors. Now some other things that I love having on hand, eucalyptus essential oil. I love bringing that into the shower when I'm sick. I dash a few drops on the bottom, I run the hot water and it steams up and makes me feel real good. I also like to have a cool mist humidifier going. It really helps when you're out of the shower but you still want that extra boost and it's really helpful for little kids. You know, we have one going in Riley's room overnight and it really helps loosen up that phlegm in her chest. The other thing to to keep in mind is of course again I feel like a mom but you know what I am a mom hydrate drink whether it's water or chicken soup or whatever it is that you need to get in your system make yourself feel good by keeping the fluids going that helps things move and it helps pass whatever you've got going on once the worst of it has gone away and your cough cold or flu is tapering off that's where I'm at now you can start the healing process, which is really the most exciting part. So aside from taking good care of yourself, making sure that you're well rested, you're back on track in terms of your eating and your drinking and all the other things that you do to keep yourself nice and healthy, you wanna make sure that you're getting your space back in shape too. Now, when it comes to toys, what we do with Riley is we limit the amount of toys that she can play with at the onset of a cold. So again, she's sort of in this tapering off stage. We're not gonna limit her toys at this point, but when things start, you wanna sort of contain what the kids are playing with so that they're not getting their germs all up in all the toys and that way you only have to clean a very limited amount of stuff so you can just park the rest of the toys in a little toy bin somewhere else. The next thing you want to do is make sure that all of the clothes and the bedding and the towels that you were using during your sick period are stripped off and thrown in the laundry, put on the hottest cycle possible. And finally, I hate to be repetitive, but let's be honest, gifts are nice, but not when they're germs. So in order to keep your family, friends, and yourself protected from what could come again, you want to make sure that you clean those points of contact and any surfaces that you've come in contact with so that you don't get anyone else sick with those germs. Now, of course, you might have built up immunity to those germs, but other people might not have. My hope is that these tips will help keep you and your family healthier during this cough, cold, and flu season. And honestly, if I can help you ward off at least one of the things that I've got this year, I've done my job. And that leads me to this week's comment question, which is, when you're sick, what do you do with all of that time? Do you sleep? Do you catch up on shows? Do you go on Instagram? Like, what do you do? I'll tell you guys what I did this weekend. I was in and out of sleep because I had a bug and I was exhausted, but my mom came over to help out with Riley. She also brought me some drinks and some soup, which was super helpful. And then I basically conked out on the couch and I was in and out of watching TV shows that I've been meaning to catch up on for months. So that was my weekend and I'd love to know what you guys do. So let me know in the comments down below. This video was sponsored by our friends at Robitussin. So when a cold strikes, and as I mentioned with Riley in daycare, I'm expecting to be sick on and off for the near future. This is gonna be my life for the next little bit. Robitussin Honey Maximum Strength Cough and Chest Congestion DM is a go-to for me. It's gluten-free, has no artificial colors, and combines real ethically sourced honey with cough medicine. To learn more about this product, visit robitussin.com honey. If you wanna see what we're up to during the rest of the week, you can follow us on Instagram. I'm at Melissa Maker. Chad is at the Chad Run and the two of us are at Clean My Space. Here are a couple of other videos I think you're going to love and if you want to learn more about Clean My Space you can click this button right over here. There's a button down there that lets me know you care so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.